Kom og fint den. It's weird because I can't feel it, but it feels relaxing. Yeah, that's cool. It's really weird. Because I get like, um, it's like phantom pain. Okay. Um, it's like tingles. Uh -huh. And for some reason, sometimes rubbing or like doing that, it like relaxes it somehow. Yeah. It's really weird. It's kind of Hey guys, it's Anya, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm getting my first ever pedicure, not only as a paraplegic, but as me. Um, and I wanted to bring you along with me and show you how easy or hard it is to get a pedicure when you can't feel or move your feet or toes. I want to get gel polish and you obviously have to put it under a machine. So I'm thinking, can I even get my feet in the machine? So um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I'll give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe to my channel and yeah, let's see what it's like getting a pedicure when you're a T12 complete paraplegic.
done. Okay, well that actually was a really positive experience. Um, it went really well. My toes look really pretty. I got my feet kind of like sanded down. <laughs> I got all the dry skin off. Um, I had them washed and moisturized and scrubbed and um, had some gel polish on as well. And actually it was really, really good. Um, I got onto this little um, like reclining seat. It had a massage in it. So I actually got a back massage as well. Um, I put my feet in this little water bowl um, and uh, yeah had a real good old pamper and i'd definitely do this again i totally shied away from pedicles being a paraplegic like why would you want to when you can't move or feel it but the thing is in your head you're still incredibly like it still feels really nice and um if you know me you know that i get really bad neuropathic pain so this is the burning tingling pains in my legs so actually when he was kind of like cutting my toenails my brain was getting confused and sending some tingles down there but also when um my feet were actually getting washed it kind of soothed the neuropathic pain probably in like a mental way like not in a real way but like a mental way um, but yeah, it was actually really good. I'm I'm quite shocked that I enjoyed it so much. I thought it'd be a right faff. Uh, the machine as well, the gel machine went straight over my feet. I thought I'd have to like maneuver my my floppy ass foot into a machine, but I didn't. So um, yeah, it was really good, and the guy was really lovely. I always get my nails done here, so now I'm gonna get my toenails here. So yeah, um, please let me know down in the comments what you think, and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Really forgot question of the day, so this is from William H, and he's saying. Fancy a go at wheelchair rugby. Funny enough, wheelchair rugby has started in Coventry where I live. So I think there's a team or there's going to be a team. Um, basketball's probably enough for me. And that's like fierce enough. I feel like rugby, that's like a contact sport. That looks absolutely insane. And I feel like I'd get like properly injured. I already like probably broke my finger from a ball. Imagine what you're going to do when you are ramming into people. <laughs> chucking it around and literally ramming people and there's like no rules i don't think on on contact it's a contact sport whereas basketball's not so it looks intense i think maybe i might try one day but i'm quite focused on on wheelchair basketball anyway and i've gone up to two sessions a week now so that's probably enough with my full-time job to be honest um but yeah maybe maybe a little taster session i might go along to um so yeah that is the question of the day make sure to write the hashtag qotd to get featured in my next video and i'll see you in my next one guys bye